All right, we're ready to continue on with uh, Tennessee. We'll ask Coach Barnes for some general thoughts, and then we'll take your questions for the student athletes and then excuse them. And then we'll finish up with Coach Barnes. So, Coach, would you begin? Hard fought game both ways. I thought both teams really put a lot of effort and uh, energy into it. Uh, they played a terrific second half, shot the ball well. They really hit some big shots at the right time. Um, I think our guys, uh, again, we're still learning how to play without Zakai, and I, I thought that showed up in the fact that they had a couple of run outs where we didn't have the floor balance where the guys that are learning how guys are playing the point where we've got to get back. but. Give them credit, and uh, I'm really proud of the effort our guys put into this game. I thought they all fought hard to get ready to play, but uh, again, Missouri made some really key buckets at the right time, and we needed to get a couple stops there at the end, and um, we didn't finish the play. You know, we gave up a dribble penetration layup, and at the end, when they nine seconds, that was a tough play because we were in a situation where we were scrambling, and the uh, ball came off, and they were able to get that one back. but. Uh, Really proud of the effort of our guys. I, again, and I'm proud of the fact that they're learning. I think these last three games are going to help us going forward. I know that uh, what we set out to accomplish is still out there in front of us, and we just got to get back and and get ready to go again. All right, we'll take questions for either of the student athletes. If you'll raise your hand, we'll get one of the remote mics to you. Let's go ahead and start on the far left. Olivier, where do you guys got to be better in the closing minutes of games, offensively and defensively? I think it starts with knowing our shot selection and, and you know, on offensive end, taking care of the ball, executing what we need to do, especially coming out of timeouts, playing together. And then on defense, you know, we play with a very high intensity and we, we attack other teams, but sometimes we can get a little over aggressive at times and over on plays. So we need to find a way to stay under control while keeping that same intensity. Raise your hand, other questions? OK, let's go to the middle on the far side. Jemai, just what was the difference in the defense in the first half and second half? Um, I think we knew going in to the, uh, to the game period they were going to make shots. Um, you know, this team, you can only go by off of what they played against us the first time. So we were ready to, and we were prepared for that. So, um, but I think, you know, all in all, we, we just had to close out the game a little bit better on the defensive end. You know, we, we gave up, like I said, too many drives. If they hit threes, they're going to hit threes, you know, but we can't give up those drive layups. Um, and, and we got to finish the game with, with a rebound. So um, I think we were prepared. I know our coaches did a great job with scouting them, and they, they gave us the, the, the keys, but we just have to finish the game as players, and we got to grow from it. Next question. <clears throat> Let's go to the second row right here on the right side. Yeah, yeah Jemai, just wondering uh, what this weekend might have done for your confidence. How do you feel in the new role moving into the NCAA tournament? Um, I, I feel like my, my confidence is, is still the same. Um, I feel like I'm a, I'm a very confident player, and I know I work extremely hard on my game. But I don't think it, you know, it, it doesn't really matter if we don't come out with the win. You know? So um, I know I have to be better on, on both ends. Um, I think I, I got to be better um, defensively and offensively. And I, and I know I can be um, just to help our team out. So um, my confidence is going to grow you know, once we keep getting wins. Next question on the right side on the aisle. Uh, Olivier, Rick mentions that he thinks these last three games are, are going to help you all. Just, just how do you see these last three games and then the last two this week here helping you all starting next weekend? Um, I think it's true. You know, playing in these kind of tough games, close games and intense games is always going to be good for us in the long run because that's that's tournament basketball. That's March Madness, you know. And And honestly, not even just the last three. We've been in games like this all year, and we've come out on top in games like this, and we've lost games like this. And I think all of that is going to be valuable experience for us going into the, to these next games. Raise your hand. Have time for one or two more questions. All right, let's go to the middle on the right side. My basketball is a game sometimes where you just lose close games, but y'all have had several of those this year. How do you not let things like that affect you? You know, as a team, you know, what, what, with the confidence level going down those final couple minutes. You know, I, I think, I think for us, man, we've we've gone through so much this season. Just, just you know, internally as a team, and I think despite even the losses, we we've grown, you know, so much with with staying together and, and dealing with adversity, man. You know. The basketball, 
sometimes it's just like that, and we we got to bounce back from it. But I think the this tournament, these losses, these close games, it, it's just building, you know, building um, our mental fortitude and, and you know helping us out with dealing with close ones in the tournament. And I think. I think we're all going to be ready for that. You know, we we've just we've gone through so much that you know me mental toughness is has really gone up just in individuals and as a team together. So you know, I, I think we're going to be prepared for anything and everything going into March. I mean, going to uh, the tournament. Last question. Okay, let's go to the oh third row on the middle. Yeah, Jamai. Just what do you see from them coming out of timeouts, and what do you think allowed them to have so much success there? I mean, I, I think they were just hitting shots. I think, you know, they were executing what they wanted to get to. They were taking care of, um, taking advantage of matchups that they wanted to get to. And, you know, us as a team, we pride ourselves on being able, especially now being able to switch and, and guard the ball. Um, and, and we have to be able to continue to do that a little bit better. Um, but I think they executed well. You know, they, they knew exactly which spots they wanted to get to. And, you know, they're a confident team. They, they, know, they know what they're good at. They know what they're not good at, you know. And, and I think coming out of timeouts, um, they did a great job executing, but it, it's what we do is we 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 take that and and we disrupt that, and I think we did that at points in time in the game, but we just got to do that for 40 minutes and really you know be dogs out there on the court. All right, we'll excuse the student athletes. You can return to the locker room. Appreciate y'all. And uh, one note as well, uh, when we're done here, Co uh, Commissioner Sankey will be in for a media session around oh as soon as we're done uh, done with this one. Uh, let's go to Coach Barnes and questions. Raise your hand. Let's start right here in the front row. Coach, you guys have been a very good defensive team this year, but uh, talk about the two games against Missouri, what's been challenging, and then uh, Kobe Brown and the, the, and the, what he did today and uh, how he performed. Well, that's what, again, uh, I mean, they obviously went to an isolation game trying to get him in there, and uh, we actually went small one time and came out of the timeout, and, and coaches. Uh, had a play that we thought they would run, and we switched when we shouldn't have on one particular play that was a where he scored in there. But we knew again they were going to go to that at some point in time. That's what they do. But uh, they made some key shots and uh, at, at the right time, and uh, got to give them credit for that. And it's like Jemai said, we talked about it. It's the uh, the layups and uh, where we didn't have the basket, the floor balanced, and that's we're, we're going to learn from that. that that's. Again, someone asked a question about the last four minutes. I mean, we played the entire year with Zakai Ziegler. That's where he was in control of the game. And uh, we've got to get better at uh, the floor balance at, at the end. But uh, they, they, again, their three key guys did a great job. And uh, you got to give them credit for it. Okay, question. Do you have one right here? Yeah. Rick, what is this team's identity right now as far as you see it going to the NCAA tournament? You know, I, I don't know what happened at the start of the game. I wasn't really happy the way we started the game, and I don't know what that was about. But uh, but after that, we settled down, and, and uh, we uh, again, I know we can guard. I mean, we I mean, they're, they they made some shots today. You got to give them credit for that. And uh, but the fact is, we again three games without Zakai. Obviously, the one we played at home, it was a really good win for us. But uh, or is it four games now? I, I can't remember what it is. But anyway. Uh, we're going to be fine. I mean, the biggest prize that we want to win after, that we want to go after is still out there. And Jemai mentioned it. Uh, this team's been very resilient. I don't know if I've, I've told you guys, I don't know if I've been through in all my years in coaching what we've gone through and with the injuries this year, right, when you think you're getting it all back and it doesn't happen. And But these guys have never um, – great attitudes, great work ethic. And, uh, uh, again, I'm uh, – as a – Coach, I, I couldn't ask for any more from these guys because they, they really do want to win. And, and uh, again, we got a chance. I, I, I'm telling you, I think we got as much a chance as anybody. If you ask me what, the, what I'm thinking of right now, one word it would be this team's been very resilient. And there's a lot of teams that like to be where we are right now. I think there's a lot of teams that won't look forward to a match up with us. But uh, we're going to learn from uh, this game and as we uh, did the last couple. And we'll, we'll be ready next week. Okay, let's go to the second row in the middle. Down the stretch, Rick, Josiah comes off. Is that sort of – he's having a tough offensive day, so you decide even though his defense may have helped you down the stretch, is that basically what the decision came down to, not playing him down the stretch? Yeah, well, yeah, we, we felt like coming down the stretch and the fact that, you know, we 
you know, Tyreek was shooting the ball well too. We felt like we had to get some, make sure we kept offense on the court. And uh, uh, again, we, we, we really, to be quite honest, you know, we think we can, with our length now, that we can guard some of it. But we gave up a, a drive out of a side ball screen. It, that was a tough play right there. But uh, again, uh, when we just felt like the, because Tyreek had been shooting the ball well, we felt like we had to get him back out there. Okay, let's go to the third row in the middle. Rick, are you concerned at all with the team's confidence no. down the stretch in those close, just down the stretch in those close no, games? I think they'll learn from it. I mean, again, they they stepped back and made a couple threes, but uh, I, I, mean, I could go down. I mean, Olivier had an. I mean, he had a great look at a three, uh, and again, Olivier can shoot the ball. I mean, that that shot goes in, but the, it, again, it's the, the the little small plays that add up. That uh, again, that we've got to eliminate. You know, teams can make some threes, but you can't give up the little ones at the rim. You, you can't give up dribble penetration. The last one on the offensive rebound, that was a, a, a broken scramble situation. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I don't know if two guys went at it uh, right there to get to the ball. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, it's, it's a really fine line. But, you know, I don't, again, I think our guys are confident. I really do. I mean, I can only tell you, I've been around them, I, I know their body languages, and it was not a lack of confidence. Okay, we have three more questions. We'll take one right there, and then we'll finish up with two on the front. What have you learned about your team in the four games without Sakai? Well, again, that's we're still searching for that because, again, we've played however many games we played this year. Maybe the last four minutes, five minutes of the game, that's where he was. You know, that's we played through him most of the time. We, you know, we did a lot ball screen situations late in the game with him. Uh, different things. We, we're not doing that as much right now, so. Uh, that's where we probably miss him the most, but uh, we're not going to use that as an excuse in any of these games. But uh, if you ask me, that's the last four minutes of the game is where I thought as a coach and our staff that that's where we would probably find out that we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do through there. And again, we've gotten better with it, but I still go back. You know, we had three bad offensive plays at Auburn, then uh, – Today it was uh, we had a couple defensive plays that uh, we've got to clean up and and we certainly played well enough today offensively to win the game. I mean there's no question about that and they shot the ball again. You, you got to give them credit for that, but we gave them too much in certain situations that we can't give up. Okay, front row. Coach, just the, the front court, the front court scoring, I mean, or the lack of it. Just how how damaging was that today? We just don't get anything in the post outside of Olivia. Well, that, again, we talk about it all year. That's where we've been inconsistent, and that's where we got to be. Uh, we got to be consistent there. You know, we we need it, but it also defensively, it's just consistency. And uh, often when it that when that's happening, it puts a lot of pressure on the per, our perimeter guys and. They, they, they did a great job today. I mean, it, it's amazing how people go after Santi, and he just continues to do what he does night in and night out. But uh, we knew going into this year that would be the biggest area with, with our team. We, can our post guys consistently – that we know what we're going to get night in and night out. And uh, that's where we – again, if we could ever get them all playing at the level that we know they're capable of, that's when we could become a very dangerous team. Coach, you've been a part of this league for a long time. How would you assess the strength this year uh, and the depth of the strength this year of this league? Well, I, th I think it's really good. Obviously, you know, uh, uh, it's uh, – you, you might could go back and say there's years when there's been more talented players and something like that. But in terms of top to bottom with, uh, you know, uh, talent, depth, that's probably there, – there's been no easy games. I, I don't – again, I don't uh, – there hasn't, you know, there hasn't been any easy. Certainly, Alabama has had a great year, and they've had some great wins on the road. But uh, I look around college basketball; I think it's a lot like our league this year. I don't know. If there's a clear cut. Anybody is going to be somebody's going to catch it at the right time. And and I think the same thing about our league. On any given night, you knew that wherever you went to play, it was going to be hard. And um, it's only going to get better with uh, Texas and Alabama, uh, Texas and uh, Oklahoma coming in the league. We already have the best athletic conference in America. It's only going to continue to grow and get better in every everything. And but uh, this was a year, the eight years I've been in the league. Uh, again, every game it seems like it's been a grind. Thank you. All right, thank you guys.